Okay, now we're going to put the props onto our drone. Now that might seem like a straightforward process, but there's a subtle, um, subtle thing you need to be aware of. So they look the same, but they're actually not the same. They're mirror images, similar to how my hands are mirror images of each other. They're not the same. So same thing with these props. Now you'll look here at this little, at this prop. And you'll see that it is scooped up a little bit. Well, we want the, the props to spin so that they're scooping air downwards because that'll cause the drone to fly up. If the props are pushing air upwards, that means that our drone is, is going to be pushed to the ground. So we want to make sure that we place our props such that they're going to be scooping air downwards. Now, how do we do that? Well, we already know which way our motors are going to be spinning, so then we can just place the correct prop on the motor to make sure that it's scooping air down. Okay, here is our drone. This is the front side of the drone, and this is our north-south axis. Remember, we want our props to spin towards the north-south axis. So let's isolate on this motor. So let's try and put this motor here. So we know it's going to spin in this direction, but this prop would actually push air upwards. So we'll place this flat surface on the flat edge of the blade. And as the blade rotates in the, the direction that the motor is going to make it spin, it's actually pushing air upwards. So we need to exchange this prop for another prop here. And now as this one spins in the clockwise direction, let's put this flat edge towards the uh, leading surface of the prop. It's actually now going to be pushing air downwards. So this is what we want. So let's go ahead and take off our nut on the top of this motor. Place that on there. And you don't want to tighten it too much because the spin of the motors will actually automatically tighten these little nuts on top of the rotor. So as this prop is spinning, it would actually push the air upwards, and we don't want that. So let's exchange that for the other prop. And now this prop, as it spins in the counterclockwise direction towards the north-south line, it is scooping air downwards.